holiday leftover gets a memorable makeover. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. I just got through Thanksgiving. It was a lot of work, but it went really well. The dinner was exceptional. My sisters have now headed off for home, and I'm left with the dishes, a cleanup, and also a turkey carcass. Let's say you serve turkey for your holidays. This is a wonderful soup recipe I know you're gonna to wanna to try. It comes in two parts. On day one, we're taking the turkey carcass. If this is a carcass from our dry brined turkey, it's really delicious and still very flavorful. We took all of the meat off of the bones and then we add the turkey carcass into our large soup pot. Now we're gonna add a couple of fresh vegetable things I had left over, two ribs of celery, two carrots. I'm adding two shallots and two onions. Notice I'm leaving the skins on the shallots and the onions. This will give the soup a very beautiful, deep, rich color. We're also gonna add a bunch of parsley. Then we top everything up with 12 cups of cold water. We head to stove top, we bring everything to a boil. We reduce to simmer, cover, and you're gonna cook for four hours. Every once in a while, go to the pot, push the bones down, stir it up, put the lid back on, and back and forth. At that four hour mark, we're gonna place a strainer into a large bowl. We're gonna strain our soup carefully. We're gonna discard all of those bones and vegetables. I like to strain it a second time through a finer sieve. And then I let this come to room temperature before I transfer it to the fridge to completely chill overnight. Day two, before we begin making this very delicious soup, take your stock out of the fridge and you can now see all of the fat has hardened across the top. We're taking a spoon and you're just gonna gently take the spoon across and we're gonna remove all of that fat. As I transfer it into a glass bowl, you can see this is a very robust stock. It's like jelly, it's got a nice shake to it. Now we're ready to make the soup. We head to stove top, Dutch oven set to medium high heat, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're gonna add some flavorful vegetables. I have one Vidalia onion, finely diced, celery, roughly chopped. I have three carrots, I cut them in half, and then I chop them. You get those nice little half rounds. Last thing, three cloves of garlic, finely diced. All of those ingredients go into the pot. We're gonna give the pot a stir, cover, and cook for five minutes. At the five minute mark, we're taking off the lid. We're gonna add some more flavor. One cup of sliced cremini mushrooms. I have a red bell pepper, finely diced. I'm also adding half a cup of barley. Add your barley in, stir all of these ingredients together, and then we add the lid and cook for an additional five minutes. Now when you take the lid off, you can see the vegetables are starting to soften. Time to add our stock. You can add it in in its jelly shape as I am, but look at what happens when it comes to temperature. It just melts in with the vegetables. We bring this to temperature as soon as it comes to a boil, reduce to simmer, and we're gonna cook for 20 minutes. At that 20 minute mark, I have the final two ingredients, the real flavor enhancers for our soup. I have a bunch of leftover turkey, probably about five cups. I've cut it into small little bite-sized bits, along with a big clump of fresh parsley, finely chopped. Add your turkey bits and your parsley into your soup, stir, and you're ready to serve. We head to table side, the soup is transferred into a tureen, lift the lid, the ladle goes in, and then we're slowly going to add this very delicious soup to soup plates, hand them out for everyone to enjoy, and they will enjoy. What's not to enjoy about a beautiful, tasty, delicious, homemade turkey soup? Mmm, just about as delicious as Thanksgiving dinner itself. Looking for other delicious things? Head to weekendatthecottage.com. When you're there, subscribe to our website. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe to it as well, please. Give us a thumbs up, drop us comments, and click that bell button for notifications. And then finally, look for us on one or more of your favorite social media platforms using hashtag Weekend at the Cottage on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you so much for hanging out and learning all about leftover turkey soup. Nothing quite like it. Come on back and visit again soon. Take care.